Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. Welcome to TV Unmasked, where we peel back the layers of your favorite reality shows today. We're diving into the glamorous world of the Real Housewives of New Jersey to uncover the best and worst taglines of all time. Let's unmask the drama and see which housewives truly shine in the realm of wit and sass. I am so happy that the Real Housewives of New Jersey are back on my small screen. Honestly, I was going a bit loopy in the head while waiting for season 14. But in my downtime between watching every single other Bravo franchise, I thought, what were some of the best Ranj taglines? The cast of the Garden State has been a step above the rest. Between family feuds, mob hits, and pizza trolls, a kick, there were a lot of options to choose from. So take a deep dive with me, you won't be disappointed. A post shared by Teresa Giudis registered at Teresa Giudis Season 10 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey left Margaret Joseph's and Teresa Giudis's friendship hanging in the balance. Throughout the entire season, Jennifer Iden had rubbed most of the cast the wrong way, but Tree stood tall by her friend. Through it all, fans watched as Joe Giudice was deported from ICE custody to Italy, with Tree being forced to face the fact that her marriage was over. Her tagline aptly noted, If you rub me the wrong way, there'll be no more namest. Even though it had trademarked bad grammar from Teresa, it showed us that the OG wasn't willing to lay down and take anyone's crap. A post shared by Jackie Mark Goldschneider at Jackie A. Goldschneider, I'm going to be honest. I was a real fan of Jackie Goldschneider when she first appeared on Ranj. So I forgot that she gave fans this humdinger in season 10. Jackie stated, oh, Don't let the minivan fool you. This mom won't roll over for anyone. Jackie had a tough season as she came to grips with her eating disorder and butted heads with Jen all season. But man, she could have given us something a bit more exciting. I mean, I hear she knows Miriam Webster. A post shared by Melissa Gorga, at Melissa Gorga, Melissa Gorga, has had some great taglines over the years. But none speak more to me than season six. The mother of three told Garden State fans, I've learned to forgive and never regret. Melissa was all over the place this season, but mostly spent her time supporting Teresa and Joe during their court hearings. She tried her best to put their issues in the past to ensure Tree knew her family supported her. A lot of good it did since the families are no longer speaking, but she tried right. A post shared by Teresa Giudis registered at Teresa Giudis season 5 was when the Gorga slash Giudis clan got contentious. So Teresa's tagline of, haters are gonna hate, but I just love, 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 didn't make sense. Teresa was trying her best to mend her relationship with Jacqueline Lorita, but in the end, they couldn't get that old spark back. Teresa and Joe Gorga also saw a relationship expert, but to no avail, so much for the love bubble. A post shared by Caroline Manzo at Caroline Manzo Seasons 1 and 2 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey featured an iconic statement from Caroline Manzo. I can still hear the mother of three saying, If you're going to mess with my family, you're messing with me. Truer words have never been spoken because this is literally the Jersey mantra. Caroline's tell it like it is personality won over viewers and she stood true to her words. She never, ever let anyone take advantage of her husband or children. I just loved the unwavering loyalty. A post shared by Dolo Catania at Dolorecitania now, I love Dolores Catania. She is the muscle of Jersey, but season 14's tagline just fell short for me. The mother of two proudly stated I'm a girl from Patterson, playing Switzerland, dating an Irishman. I mean, she is giving us an iconic season, finale sit-down scene worthy of The Godfather, and this is what production agreed on as her tagline, honestly, I would have gathered, welcome back, scumbags. It has more of a ring to it, don't you think? A post shared by Teresa Giudis registered at Teresa Giudis, the season one tagline was smart and on the nose. 
As a fellow Jersey girl, I can't tell you how many times out-of-state friends have mocked me for my home state pride. But like Teresa said, people just make fun of Jersey girls, but I think they are just jealous. Tell U.S. what are your favorite taglines from the Real Housewives of New Jersey.